This week on Backyard Footy. Playing wise, it's got to be Didier Drogba because I learned so much from that man. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Um, I believe training with him too must have been nice. Just going against a top quality guy like him definitely yeah, taught man. you a lot. Yeah, and he didn't take any days off either. He was four years old, but he, he was in there every day. Wow, what he experience you got! That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I learned a ton that year. Just more than anything, just the mindset that it requires and. It's it's not it's like talent gets you so far and and Didier was incredibly talented but he said like he all he did was preach mindset mm, all it is right mindset. here right it, mm-hmm. it's right there so mm-hmm. if you want to be the best you got to think you're the best mm-hmm. you got to grind and you got to think that I'm gonna beat anyone no matter who it is I'm gonna beat it and I'm gonna put in the work to do it so it's about working hard wow. and, and keeping that mind right so wow that's, I like that I, a I learned, lot I learned I learned I learned tons of lessons from Didier that was. That year wow. was monumental for me, honestly. Wow, um, thank you not, for sharing that, not, for real. Yeah, not, all, not only as, like, a, a player, but as a person as well. Yeah, nah, seriously, he, thank you for the, sharing that. The, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. He was one of the greatest greatest men I've ever meet, met mm. in person. So, um, if need be, you know, like, uh, we could still come in and it's only for about three or four um three or four employees right. you know it's not a huge company it's just three or four employees so mm-hmm. um yeah you uh been picking up any new hobbies or anything with all this free time man uh new hobbies i wouldn't say new but i've been cooking a lot more <laughs> <laughs> um I'm a little, you know i don't really eat out much but you know here and there i would go and you know get a little something to go but now right. so i'm just making that snack at home instead of picking it up elsewhere <laughs> um, so i've been cooking a lot more um but then that man just school man this this time is just giving me you know a little opportunity to you know catch up and move forward in my classes right um especially my tax course so um yeah man <laughs> You uh been training or anything? You said you're getting some some touches in with a couple of guys. I know we've been training a little bit periodically, mm-hmm. but have you been doing things at home or anything? I know camps and a little something, but what have mm-hmm. how you've been staying active some? Yeah, so um you know touches with you guys. Uh, I went on a trail run nice. uh, over the weekend, which I haven't done in maybe six seven years. Um, <laughs> Went on a trail run, and, you know, the exercises at Cam gives us, mm-hmm. you know, I have a few dumbbells and stuff at home, mm-hmm. uh, kettlebells, so I do it at home. I also uh, do boxing mm-hmm. at home. That's good. You know, everything is at home. We have the, the equipment, you know, like the gloves and stuff. Um, one to get a heavy bag. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, just been just been doing that, you know, yoga, still doing my yeah. yoga. Yeah. Um, yeah, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, you have some fan questions for you, um, real quick. What part of game day do you miss most? Um, well, I would say leading up to game game day is the worst, you know, for me. You know, like the hours from ten a.m. to five thirty a.m. when I leave. I mean, to five p.m. when I leave for the locker room. Right. Because you know you're still there's still but there's still butterflies yeah, you know yeah. there's still nerves you know so, so that moment for me is very difficult. The part that I miss the most is walking onto the field mm-hmm. uh, right before kickoff, mm-hmm. and you just see everyone's uh, and the, the, everyone is in anticipation of us uh, like getting the kickoff. You know the coin toss. You know singing the national like guys singing the national anthem mm-hmm. and fans standing up for me. That's the part I miss the most. Like yeah. that, that energy. You know. So me yeah. too, brother. Definitely. <laughs> and uh, which coach or teammate has 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 had the most wow. influence on you for your career? Wow, um, man, it's hard to pick one. That's that's a really good right. question. Um, there have been quite a few people. Um, I don't want to mention one and forget the other, right? Um, because every 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 team 
for me had its has its season and had its season mm -hmm. you know in the sense that when i was with a certain team you know there were maybe one or two guys that really took me under their wings right i feel like from my previous team to now um I'm more looked at as a senior guy, so my role has changed a bit. Yeah. So <laughs> it's kind of like when I re I realized that last year um, that I was a senior player. I've always seen myself as someone, you know, like in the crowd. And yeah. not to say I'm not with everyone else, yeah. but people see me as a senior guy. You have young guys like Clay, and they're <laughs> looking at me, and I'm saying, wow, I'm not a senior guy. Right. I mean, just like you guys, right. I have to check myself. Like, right. wow, you have to really play that role mm -hmm. um, because we have a young squad to begin with, you mm -hmm. know? So, um, yeah, man, um, it, it, it's hard to mention one or two names without mentioning the other because it'll be a huge disservice right. um, <laughs> to the others, man. Right. You know? No, I feel so, you on that. But all right, my guy, I appreciate you, homie. Just giving you a little yeah. checkup, seeing what you've been up to during this hiatus. Of course, man. Hope you've been well and safe, too, man. Appreciate Happy you, Brody. I'll see you in the morning, too. All right, yeah. All right, my guy. Later. Yeah. Kevon, for me, is, was one of the mentors as soon as I came into this team who got lunch, literally probably the, one of the first weeks that I moved in, showed me the ropes, told me how things work with Mike and other co guys on the coaching staff, and... We've been boys ever since. As you heard, we train together all the time. We're constantly staying each other updated. We motivate each other. But he's definitely kept my head on my shoulders and helped motivate me throughout this year. And he's a very wise guy and someone I've been looking up to since I came into this team. So without further ado, we're going to stay here in Charlotte. Now we're going to go check up on the captain, Enzo Martinez, another great quality guy, leader of the team, someone that I've also learned a lot from these past two years. I mean, I've always been going against him for seven years, but now... To see him on the training field, how he leads us, how he's just very intellectual on the field. I've actually grown my game through him, just watching him. So I'm very excited for you guys to hear him and see what. He, let's go check up on him and see what he's been up to. My man, my man, how are you? I'm good, man. Sorry, I'm driving. No, man. you're good. You're good. How's everything? Good, man. Just How's this quarantine going for you? Uh, what's that? How's this quarantine going for you? Damn, man. I'm, I'm like, going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels like preseason all over all again. All over again, bro, right? Yeah, what you been up to I, lately? Just, sorry, I, I, don't mean, I didn't mean to put you in pasta. I just got to make sure I knew where I was going. Yeah, bro. I, you know, just when we when we got into the rhythm of everything, and then all of a sudden, boom. Right. From, from nowhere, bro. Back at it again, huh? Have you uh, you've been active a little bit or anything? What you been up to? Yeah, bro. Mainly, I just kind of take the dog running with me. But, nice, uh, nice. Yeah, yeah. But I, honestly, I I need to like we need to like set something up with the guys, bro. Right, right, right. Get some touches and nothing replicates games and practices like actually doing it. So. Right, right. You. That's uh, true. I know it's giving you some more time with your family, though. I bet that's been nice too. Yeah, that's 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 actually. The best part, yeah. You know, to, uh, to be able, to, Holly kind of works from home, so she still has to work. But uh, it just uh, to be able to spend that time with Ariana, you know. Right, 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 right. No, that's good. I know that's needed. Have yeah, you uh, have you found any new hobbies with all this free time or anything? <laughs> Not really. I actually picked up. Uh, I played FIFA for the first time. <laughs> Years. I, I love it, bro. I love it. All right, all this free time, you don't know what to do with yourself. God, I finally got back into FIFA, and I'm like, what the heck? Leave it. Right, right, right. <laughs> you got some uh, fan questions. So, um, they want to know what part of game day do you miss most? What part of? Okay, the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if it's outside of the game. The thing that I miss more is just kind of the mentality that you you're in the whole day. You know, it's right. it's actually uh, it's pretty awesome. It's intense and, and fun. Yeah, I mean that's the same thing I said too. Just being in the locker room around everybody, training, competing, and then on game day too, just walking out and just the fact that you're about to play a game always excites right. you too. Right, exactly. I love that that uh, 
my or set mind or that mentality that you have to be in through right. the day. It's kind of fun. Right, right, right. What um what what do you think is the best stadium in the USL, locker room included? Oh man, that's a good question. Let's see. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. I mean, when we went to Memphis, it was good. Mm. Tampa. Mm-hmm. Who else? That's a pretty Tampa good setup. Awesome. I, obviously, when you play in Kansas City, then you know. But if we're talking about USL only stadiums. I'm excited for Louisville's new stadium. What did you say? Um, for me, Tampa was up there. Yeah. Um, definitely Louisville when this when this stadium comes this year. We haven't we haven't right, been there right. yet, but when we see that, I know it's gonna be top quality. Um, and who else is up there? That's that's, that's some of the tops for sure. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to see who have. The Besides, like, uh, Indy besides with Stanford. the NFL stadium, the, I'm talking strictly just USL. So, yeah, mine has to be Louisville coming up. Yeah, yeah. When they build it, it's just going right. to be unreal. How have you been staying connected with some of the guys on the team? Honestly, I've been bad, bro. I've been bad. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I've been bad about it. I'm not even going to lie. Because uh, it's just, it, it feels weird, you know, like... You want to go, you want to get together with everyone because, you know, you feel fine. Right. Uh, but you also kind of don't want to be that, you know, that type of person during right, this time. Right, 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 right. Seriously, though. But all right, so I just wanted to check up on you. Let the fans know, see what you've been up to during this hiatus. I know it hasn't been easy for anybody. Awesome, bro. Yeah, man. But we definitely have to get up soon, start maybe do some fitness outside, do a little something, keep the numbers small, but definitely have to keep yeah, this fitness yeah. that's, up. That's what I was thinking is trying to get a message. Maybe even if it's like, you know, just get with your, like, your group of players. Like, right. defenders maybe can meet. That's true, too. Defending stuff, just passing the ball around the back, yeah. you know. Uh, yeah, I like that. Get the midfielders just to play some monkey in the middle for an hour, you know. Right, right, right. And then get the forwards to just do some shooting. So right. maybe, maybe uh, I'll, I'll send you a text tonight, and maybe we can set that up. You know, you yeah. take care, you take care of the defenders. I get Kiban to take care of the midfielders, yeah. and you know, and I'll do kind of the forwards or something like that. No, I like that. Bye, maybe, bro, I think it'll be massive for the team that kind of can keep up with this. It's going to pay off during the season. I 100% agree. Well. I 100% agree. If you yeah. had some kind of chemistry before this, definitely you will see now if the chemistry carries over into these next couple months. Cause, right. Yeah. Mm. But all right, Zoe, I, pre- I appreciate you, bro. No, thank you, man. Of course, Anytime. my guy. I'll talk to you soon. All right, see you, brother. Yes, sir. Bye. Next, we head over to our rivals out in Raleigh, North Carolina, to check up on my boy Graham Smith, the starting center mid for NCFC. He, uh, me and him actually were at open trials for NCFC two years ago. He ended up making the team. I ended up going to Pittsburgh that year. But that's how we kind of reconnected our uh, chemistry and our bond right there. And we've been boys ever since. I'm very happy for my man. He's worked hard. We were roommates together in trials. That's how we became close, and now he's been starting these past two, three years and keeps resigning contracts, so it's a great underground story for him. Definitely going to have him on an actual episode soon, but let's see what they've been up to out in our rivals on Raleigh. Everything's good. Sorry, I'm just on the run. No, 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 no. I see you working out and stuff. That's what's up. Yeah, what's going on with you? Chilling, man. Just trying to stay in shape, trying to stay sharp a little bit. Yeah. You know this quarantine. How's this, uh, with all this free time now, how's this quarantine been for you? Uh, it hasn't been bad, so I'm, are, are we recording now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, it hasn't been bad. I've kind of been in a unique situation because, um, uh, during the off season, I, you know, you know, I trained hard yeah, and, yeah, sure. uh, you know, I was getting ready for soccer, but I also want to start diversifying myself. So mm. I got an internship at a financial mm. software company. Mm, smart so, man. Yeah. So I did that over the off season and then. Um, as the season was approaching, they asked me if I wanted to stay on and I was like, um, I mean, soccer comes first, but in the, the reality is in our daily life, we're home by one right, o'clock. Right, 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 right. For real. It, I pretty much said like, if you're flexible with my hours and 
which they were during the off season because I go in usually uh, in the afternoons after I was done training if if they were okay with me just putting in twenty to twenty five hours a week. Right. I would I would you know love to stay on and they were okay with that. So mm. during preseason and during the season after training I would go over and it's a really good setup for me because all I, I on a computer doing prospecting right. or right. or researching so it's not like I'm taxing my body so. Yeah. Instead of uh, watching Netflix, uh, I was bro. Uh, same way, exactly why I started this podcast too, man. Yeah, I yeah. got tired of doing all that. My first three years is all you do every single day of the practice, bro. I got tired of that. Yeah, exactly. I know exactly, exactly what so, you mean. Um, so then during this quarantine period, I kind of you know we were able to you know work out outside, like going for a mm-hmm. run. Yeah. Like we're allowed to um, train with our roommate. Yeah. Um, we're already in contact with them. But after that, I, it's, it's kind of I come home and I work from home. Mm. So I have oh, my okay. computer from, from nice. the company and I kind of just lock some hours. So nice. Nice. from that point, I've been, I've been keeping busy. Obviously, my eyes are getting tired <laughs> from staring at screen and a little stir crazy from being in the apartment too long. But I've been, I've been fortunate where I'm able to stay busy. And I'm also uh, taking a class towards my MBA. Nice. So, I so, need to be on that same wave too, bro. All this free time, I'm trying to get my MBA too. So that's a good show. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I mean, it's 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 not the most exciting life um, <laughs> that we're all dealing with, uh, but at least I'm able to stay busy and kind of just keep my mind active. Right, right. Have you uh, found any new hobbies with all this free time? Uh, not really. I've just kind of been busy working. I've, I wouldn't say hobbies, but I would say I'm gaining new experiences mm. through um, through my internship and yep. doing projects that they're, that they're putting me on. So it's not so much I've been discovering new um, new hobbies, but I'm discovering new things about myself mm. that I like doing in the in like the working that. world. So I like that. hopefully when I'm playing, I have a better idea. Of exactly. What exactly. No, that's smart, man. Good for you. Yeah. So you have some fan questions. What uh? What part of game day do you miss most? What part of game day do I miss most? You know, I probably miss. Uh, well, besides besides the actual playing the game part, mm-hmm. uh, I probably miss miss the mornings. That's 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 my favorite part of game day. Cause you wake up, you're like excited, the game's still you know, decent, fun, <laughs> you're, you're, you're not. Thinking about how you play your right, right, right. wake up, you get a good meal, and using some premise on. Uh, and then I'm actually a big fan of. Bye, Mr. Armstead. I eat. And then See ya. Nap. I do too. Nap yeah. is key for me too. I call, I call it my mid morning. I'm <laughs> waking up, filling my belly, and then going to take a nap. Right. Yeah, that's what I usually do. And I take a shower before I go out to the stadium just to wake myself up after a nap mm-hmm. too. So yeah. I definitely yeah. agree with that. Yeah. So you said you're um, training with your roommate. How you have, how have you been staying with or staying connected with the rest of your teammates? Um, kind of just through either just FaceTime or social media. Uh, just from 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 a distance, pretty much. I mean, we're all in the same apartment complex, so we might drive past each other. Um, but it definitely does feel a little. You go from seeing these people every day all day and being very, uh, you know, interactive with them to kind of, uh, it feels like the off season almost, but all over again. Uh, yeah. So I definitely miss the guys and being with, being with the group, but, uh, you know, it's just time, time, time period that we're in. Right. That's what it is. And lastly, they want to know, what do you think is the best stadium in the USL? No MLS teams included, just USL. Okay. Just USL. Um, I, in my bias opinion, I think I might have to say our stadium. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I yeah. just think our grass is, when it's, yeah. when it's in prime form, is, is, is great. But um, uh, I think Tampa Stadium is really cool mm-hmm. next to the water. Mm-hmm. I have, we haven't been to Louisville yet. I also was going to say for me, too, Louisville's up there for me, too, just because I'm excited to see what it's like. But, yeah. 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 Um, I, think, I think I like Charlotte Stadium. Mm-hmm. Like your guys' stadium, I think yeah, it's like a nice – like tight little atmosphere, right? Um, especially when we play you guys, it's usually right, right, right. right. Uh, where those those would be my. I mean, 
I think ours have to, have to go with ours. No, but like, no, I think there's now. a lot of good stadiums in the USL. There's a reason why the women's national team plays there and they have like a college club there every year because it's top yeah. quality. Mm-hmm. What uh, which coach or teammate has had the most influence on you in your career? I might have to go with. Uh, uh, I'd probably go with my 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 roommate last year, Stephen Mill. Oh. Uh, kind of, yeah. He's been through been yeah. been through the ring, but so he's able to you know give me advice, uh, keep my give me give me a little boost when I need right. it, right. keep me a little uh, my my head on straight when I need to, right. you know, but build me up, but it'll also break me down. Yup, yeah, nah, he's a great guy. Same thing when we were at trials too. He kind of took us under the wings, talked us stuff yeah. too. Yeah, and, and, really and living with him was great because, you know, we got closer. Right, right. I see that. But yeah. All right, man, I just wanted to check up on you. We wanted to see what you've been up to during this quarantine. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate, I appreciate you again. Keep, keep with, the, with the backup footage. I appreciate that. And when you come in town, I'm going to get you on an actual, I'm get you on an actual show so people can hear your background and your stories and experiences and everything, too. So we'll definitely yeah, be in touch know. soon. Uh, all right, my guy, stay clean, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Yeah, Have a good one. Thank you. I didn't mention mention this before when Kiva and Enzo were talking, but Enzo was on episode 29. Make sure y'all go back and hear his story, where he came from. Kavan was on episode 23 as well, so make sure you listen to his story. And Bolu was on episode 4 and 21, actually. No, sorry, just episode 4. Bolu was one of the first guys I had when I first started this podcast. He was out with uh, Nashville at the time. And, yeah, go back to episode four and listen to his story, too. All right, let's keep going down south. Now, next week, going down to Birmingham, Alabama to go check up on Birmingham FC. Where we're going to go see my boy Bolo Akinyode. Me and my boy Bolo, we connected up in Philly. He actually was training and trying out with me. or well, not trying out, but he was training with me in the, before the season started. He was there the year before I was, but we connected there stayed in housing together, and that's when my boy he sh- kind of told me the ins and outs of Philly before he even got there. Real down-to-earth person. He's been balling ever since for himself. was at Nashville. Now he's out there in Birmingham, but he's been all over the place for himself, starting D-mid for this coming season for Birmingham. So without further ado, let's go see what they've been up to down in Alabama. Chilling, bro. What you been up to? Yeah, hey, man, just chilling, 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 you know? How you been uh, enjoying this little hiatus? Like, what you been doing during this quarantine? Uh- um, just trying, just trying to stay, just trying to stay sharp as possible, fit as possible. Um, yeah. Luckily, we got a. There's a field not too far from us, mm. um, and the club kind of owns that. So we, uh, me and my roommate, have been able to go chill. Um, because I'm only coming in contact with them, trying to social yeah, 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 social yeah. distancing, yeah, quarantine, bro. all that <laughs> stuff, as best as possible. You feel me? Who's your roommate? Um, uh, his name is Bruno Lapa. Okay. He's okay. a he's a rookie out of Wake Forest. Yeah. So it's his first year. So me and him been. Training again after it and doing that. Um, yeah, it's tough, bro. And, trying to stay in shape. Yeah. Keep sharp, too, man. For real. Yeah, it's hard. This hard one is just you or it's just a small group of guys. Like, And every day I'm thinking about them, like, damn, we would have been two, three games into the season already. You know what I mean? <laughs> Tip top shape, training every day, yo. Like, this is I know. preseason all over again. Yeah, it's crazy. It's preseason. It's just extending it. Um, so, yeah, that's been tough. I was thinking about it the other day. I was just looking at videos and stuff from the past season. I'm like, I miss the season. <laughs> I miss the games. I miss the games. I miss competing and playing, going to different cities and everything. But it makes you appreciate it, though. Exactly, exactly. Uh, it makes you appreciate it a lot more. So hopefully we get going soon. I'm going to come hungry when the season actually comes back. Yes, sir. Yes, what sir. You, uh, it's going to have that extra break. What you miss most about game day? I was actually just talking to my roommate about this. I think the feeling of when you, you know, when you're walking out on the line, like, yeah, with, with the other team, and you, you look at, look at who you're competing against. You look at them. Usually, like, you, like if we're playing against each other, I'll be like, yo, what up? Da da da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You walk onto the field and you just take in the crowd and the atmosphere. I think that feeling right there, because right before the game starts, I always take like. I don't know, like thirty seconds to a minute. And just yeah. look around. Yeah, just me look too. around and appreciate everything. Soak it all in. Relax. Yeah. Exactly. Soak it all in and realize how far I've come and, yeah. Yeah. and, and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and just uh, being so grateful to be here before I actually go compete and right. get into that mindset. So right. I, I've missed that little ritual mm-hmm. and that little feeling of being in a different city and looking at the crowd or like playing at home or whatever the case may be and go, yo, all right, let's do this. Like I'm here, you know? Yo, I feel that. You, so uh, that, that feeling, I definitely missed that the most. 
you uh been you found any new hobbies with all this free time or anything so i'm actually in school i'm getting my master's hey yeah, so, congrats um, for you bro I've, I've been doing a lot of studying yes sir what you getting your I'm master's gonna, in um I'm, my mba with nice, uh, marketing nice, concentration nice. Yes, sir yeah so i've been doing doing a lot of studying um i'm taking econ right now it's not easy <laughs> i already know bro trust yeah. me i gotta go back to get my mba too i was in business management so i'm trying to go back at some point too so i already know how yeah. econ was finance yeah, and all that but it's nice though it takes my away my, my mind away from everything and yeah. lets me focus i got more hours in a day to study and yeah, yeah, yeah. exam and assignments and all that so that's been good too right 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 so some fans want to know what is what do you think is the best usl stadium here in the league no mls team just usl team yeah yeah, yeah usl so my personal favorite would be Tampa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tampa I like Tampa a lot. I like Tampa Stadium a lot because first is is Tampa, you know what I mean? Like you get everything. Another reason is my brother lives there, so every time I go there I get to see him. Yeah. So that, that that's always a good memory. And it's a cool stadium. I mean yeah. you play that in the summer, the grass is nice, it's big, um it's a good always. atmosphere. So I like I like Tampa. I like Tampa a lot. Yeah, Tampa's up there for me too. Probably the best too. I mean you already know they're coming jam packed every game. Quality's up there. It's always high intensity. Exactly. What about you? Uh, for me, yeah, it was Tampa's up there. Louisville when that new stadium comes out. This yeah, year too. it's gonna it's gonna yeah. be cool because you know Louisville's yeah, fans. Yeah, bro. They, they I'm real excited for that game. For real. <laughs> I think everyone is real amazing. excited. What uh, coach or teammate has been the most influ influence on you in your career? Mm. Okay, coach. Coach, I would have to say, so the assistant coach of Red Bull Two, mm. Ibrahim Sagaya. Mm. I think he he's he's had a big influence on me and my game. I think I've I formed a good relationship with him my rookie year, and I we still talk now. You know what I mean? Like mm. it's one of the games I get excited for. I get to see him. We'll talk about the yeah. game. We'll send WhatsApp messages. Like he'll watch some of my clips and send it to me. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Things yeah, like yeah. that. Um, and in terms of players, actually, it probably would be. To uh, Libo Maloto, mm. for sure. Last year, probably one of the most talented players I played with. Yeah, yeah, I played yeah. behind him, and yeah. we always talk soccer. You know what I mean? Yeah. We always talk soccer, um, regardless regardless of the situation. And Riley Bourgeois too from mm. from Tulsa, um, mm. good friend of mine. You know, really close, and he played center back. And I played in front of him. So it was a lot of information back and forth. And mm. so and I had to work close with on the field. But mm. that turned into a relationship off the field as well as on the field, too. So I think those two, for sure, have had, they've had a big influence on me and my game. And that's, yeah. how, that's why y'all had a good season, too. Yeah, for sure. But all right, my G, you just want to check up on you, see what I go on, see how everything been during this hiatus and stuff. Yeah, for sure, bro. I appreciate that, man. Stay healthy, stay clean, stay, stay healthy, sharp, bro. all that. Looking you know what we be thinking. Yes, sir. Starts. See you when the season starts, my G. Yes, sir. All right, my guy. Take One love. Peace. Peace. So let's keep going down south. Let's head down to Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, to be exact. We check up on the MLS squad. FC Nashville, the newcomers of the league. Going to go check on left back for them, Taylor Washington. One of my really good friends. We actually went to college together, George Mason. He transferred there my senior year, his sophomore year. Won the A-10 together. I went pro. He became a pro two years later. We've play, been playing against each other for the, the past, I think it's five years now as a pro for him, four or five years. And it's just been awesome to see another college teammate of mine grow out of the system to shine. He's signed two MLS contracts, one in Philly, one again now here with uh, Nashville FC. So let's go check up with my boy down in Nashville and see what they've been up to. Hey man, how you doing? Looking good. How's everything? How you been? It's good, man. You know, battling these times, man. How about you? Staying, man. Just trying to stay fresh and trying to stay in shape for this uh, upcoming season, bro. It's been tough. Yeah, how's this? Man. How you been do dealing they with still this? Have you, like, do you have access to the facilities or? Not even. I mean, they gave us some like a ball bag or two and told us we can go to the fields and stuff, but we can't even go into the locker room. Nor can yeah. the coaches really make contact with us, so they haven't been around at all. They probably won't be there or be around for a little while. Sure. What about yeah. you though? How you been uh, uh, doing in, during this quant this quarantine? Good man. I mean, you know, it's like it's tough because like you're not around the guys and everything. Right. But you know, it's time for you to work on things like where like areas of your game like where you know you need to work on, right. which has been good. Right. Um, but the free time, man, it's like how many episodes of Westworld can I watch? <laughs> That's know? what I was gonna ask. What you been doing in, during this quarantine? You found any new hobbies or anything? 
Yeah, man. You know, like, um, you know, waking up in the morning, you know, like, you know, faith's really important in my life. Yep, yep, and, yep. Um, you know, finally finding the time to, to get into the Bible every day, pray nice. every day nice. um, in a way that I think like I'm like, all right, I, mm-hmm. I feel good about it, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and then on top of that, you know, training's been, you know, training on my own has been, you know, good in some ways and, you know, just definitely missing the guys. Yeah. Um, but um, when I come home from training, like besides the stuff that they give us to do um, – for like body weight stuff and stuff that they we have in our home and we, we've been blessed enough that they're going to give us a bike nice. um, oh each player a bike but, wow yeah so like it, it should come tomorrow we'll right. see right. um but you know like we actually my girlfriend got a uh, a boxing thing here i can flip it um ah dude, I, nice dude i love nice. it man that's it's legit awesome. hey yeah, I love it. boxing is that good core and fitness right there people sleep on that yeah so Big i already time. know i agree i agree i like that yeah, man. How about you? Yeah, for me, I mean, it's just been giving me more time to grow this brand, Becker Footy. I've been creating some apparel for it. Been, you know, doing this Thanks. podcast stuff a little bit. I'm with ESPN, but I'm trying to diversify that, myself that. now. I appreciate you. I'm trying to diversify myself now, doing more FaceTime things and just keep myself active. I read more, definitely pray more. Been yeah. uh, doing some online courses for, for not my MBA, but I'm trying to just keep myself, ed- keep educating myself and keep growing. Getting more on, bro. financial a little bit. So, yeah, it's been, I mean, of course, I miss a season two, but it's still been nice to have some downtime, some quality time to yourself, you know? Definitely. Definitely, man. Got to have that growth mindset. Yep. So, you have some fan questions. What Uh-oh. What part of game day do you miss most? That's a tough one. Um, I mean, definitely the feeling afterwards, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. that feeling of, like, 90 minutes is done and you got a great result and you go into the locker room with your team right. and you, you know, whatever you do in terms of celebration. Um, but that, that part for me is, is definitely – it's weird, man. Like, Saturdays, everything come around. There's no EPL to watch in the morning. There's nothing. Bro, no sports, no yeah. nothing. Bro, it's wild, man. It's wild. Um, oh, yeah, that, definitely definitely the team aspect of, of winning, man. Like, that's – it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. yeah. How have you been staying connected with your teammates? I know you've been training on your own, but are you connected with anyone? Yeah, you know, sometimes at the field, you'll run into guys. Oh, okay. uh, you know, okay. Yeah, you know, like with social distancing and everything, we're doing our best. But um, sometimes you'll see people and, you know, we have a group chat going and um, playing Call of Duty, Xbox, whatever it is. <laughs> um, yeah, reaching out to guys, yep, see how they're doing yep, and, yep. and doing my best to, to keep that, that chemistry going. Yep, I agree. Which uh, coach or teammate has had the most influence on you in your career? From college or pro? Let's say pro. Any pro? coach or any teammate? That's a tough one, man. Um, probably in Pittsburgh, um, Victor Soto. Mm-hmm. Um, he was my roommate for, for that year, and he was just an inspiration on and off the field. He, mm-hmm. he brought everything every day, and um, the way he conducted himself was was always top class and professional, um, and just a great human being. So he, he inspired me both ways. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's love, though. I can see that. Mm-hmm. And in your time in the USL, which stadium for you was the best? No MLS, just USL. That's a tough one. Oh, Tampa for sure. Yeah, Tampa's up there. <laughs> Tampa's fire. Tampa's yeah. fire, right? Everyone's been saying but Tampa. Charlotte's Field, I like the dimensions of it. Yeah, it's a nice yeah. home, close-knit community, so the environment feels like that as, as well. So yeah. I agree with that, too. NCFC's up there, too, for me, as well. Oh, yeah, guaranteed. That yeah. field is immaculate. Yeah, it's immaculate, yeah. bro. Uh, well, I'm, glad, I'm glad you've been doing good, though, bro. I just wanted to check up on you, see how everything's been, seeing how you guys have been adjusting to this quarantine life. I appreciate you, bro. I miss you, man. I miss you too, bro. It's been way too long. I'm I know. Gonna, I'm gonna be up there soon, though. I have to go up against you, though. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? But soon come, though. Soon come. I'm gonna be there. It will. It will be. I know. Yes, you sir. Are. I know you are. Praying for you, bro. Yeah. Keep keep staying healthy, staying clean, and everything. More blessings coming your way. You too, man. Right, Tell my family, say I love yes, you. Yes, sir. Bye. Tell your fan for me too. One love. Talk to you appreciate soon. It, bro. Peace. Yeah. Let's shoot all the way back up north and let's head to the nation's capital up 95 where we're going to go stop at Loudon FC to check up on my boy and the captain, Peebo Due, starting left back for them. One of my hometown boys I grew up with since high school. 
following each other since college, been boys still since then, been boys playing playing against each other for the past seven years for me. He's a year older, so he's now in his eighth year as a pro. But let's head out to Washington, D.C., nation's capital, and see what's up to and see what they've been up to. And as a leader of a club, to see how he's been leading these young boys. Just working on some, some you know, brand stuff. Mm-hmm. As you know, homegrown is in the works. Mm-hmm. Um, just finishing up some content, reaching out uh, to some players, you know, here and there. Um, cooking. We're trying to make a little some some right now. Uh, I'm very, very much at the novice stage, but... <laughs> You know, working progress cook, though. Cook something different every night. So, uh, what about yourself, bro? Man, I've been grinding, trying to grow this brand, work on the apparel. Um, yeah. I mean, Pharrell just giving me more time to just read, touch upon some financial literacy things, and just trying to keep nice. educating myself, bro. What, what, uh, what's your What's your resource for financial literacy? So, you ever heard? I'm sure you heard of Rich Dad Poor Dad, but he has a, <laughs> he has another book. I'm going to shoot you a text. I forget what it's called, but I'm reading his book lately. Um, yeah. Touching up just on, on some other YouTube clips and some things like that. I'm trying to touch into real estate, too. I'm trying to touch into some stocks now. I actually okay. took some courses in college, so I'm going back through like old workbooks and stuff. Trying to, now that the market's down a little bit, touch that ground. <laughs> this is man. Okay, yeah, man. bro. A little something, something. Let me hold 20 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about uh, Homegrown real quick, though. You said what? Tell us about Homegrown real quick, real quick. Man, what is Homegrown? Homegrown is just a brand that basically bridges athletes and creatives together. Mm-hmm. Uh, the way I look at it, it's, it's you know, if, if you don't even have to be like artsy, but it, you know, it's just it's just finding the balance in between the two, art and and and, and sport. Right. Because um, I I feel like it 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 defines me in a lot of ways. Right. You know, um, you know, just. That's that's where I feel like it's at right now. We're just basically um, trying to finish up some content stuff. As you know, Topher Heggy, um, um, he's been helping me out with a lot of the market stuff too. Mm-hmm. So, so people don't know about that side. Digital either. soon. We've been we've been taking a hiatus for a while, but right um, with the big break and everything, uh, it's the perfect time to time to release. So people don't know about our side either about the culture, and we're basically doing anything else in any other sport too. So nah, yeah. you already know I got mad love for you. What you're doing. Appreciate it, bro. You got some fan questions too. Wait, 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 hit me. What part of game day have you missed most? Man, honestly, there's nothing like that build up before the game. That's funny. You know, yeah. When you know you're about to go to battle. All right. There's not, there's nothing, nothing like that build up when you got the good twos. You're rocking with the mates, and, you, and you're ready to go. Right. Um, you know. I miss that a lot. Obviously, playing. You know, right now we're just training, mm-hmm. um, doing stuff on our own. So it's 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 tough. Not tough to motivate, but you know, it takes a little bit of extra motivation, some coffee or something. Right, right, right. No, I feel you. And I miss everything about it, bro. Honestly. How you been leading the young boys? Staying in contact with them. Yeah, we're in a group chat. I mean, we're in a group chat, and you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to play, play pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm nah. Uncle Pivo, but you know, <laughs> they know, they know that if they have any questions, they can, they can reach out to me, and, and you know, keep in touch, and um, we do, we do some virtual stuff too. So do they give you guys a package to do work out or anything? Yeah, we, we, we link, we link, we link. Um, we uh meet up. We have meetings and stuff, and mm-hmm. and we're all we're all on the same page in terms of communicating. Nice. Uh, it's not like yeah, they just said all right, we'll see you guys in a few months. Right, uh, right, right. But yeah, I mean we're pretty much talking to each other every day. What do you think is the best USL stadium in the league, not MLS wise either? Jeez, um, man, played in some good stadiums, some nice stadiums. Bro, I always love Wake Med. Wake Med is Wake Med is, is 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 fun. It's awesome. Even if you're if you're playing there, yeah, playing, bro. That's what I was about to know, say too. Like if you're the home or the visitor, like it's it's a fun time at Wake Med. Mm-hmm. Great great surface, um, great crowds. Um, you know, nice environment to play in a professional mm-hmm. environment. Yeah, them in Tampa's up there for me too, and, and that new Louisville Stadium coming out too, bro. I'm really excited for that. For real, man. For real, that's that's exciting. Uh, they put they put a lot of good work into that, uh, that that stadium, so I'm excited to play there. And which coach or teammate has had the most influence on you in your career? 
Damn, who's asking these questions? Uh, my boy Matt T W. Man, that's a good Matt T W out here with the hard hitters. Right. Um, man, there's been so many. Um, I look at you know, bro. I can't even. I can't even. You throw me under the bus. Right? <laughs> so many people I can't that have helped me get to where I want to get. To, yeah. Or you know, just where I'm at right now. Um. But you know. One one coach that I look to, look up to in particular is is you talking about the professional level? Or? Yeah, professional level. Okay, professional level. Um, Mark Briggs, man. Mm. I know he's he's overcome a lot of adversity in his coaching career, mm-hmm. and you know I look at, I look at that guy, and I I think he's 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 got the the ethic and, and kind of you know balance of you know being cool, but at the same time knowing how to work, knowing how to get it. Mm-hmm. Um, you can you can see what he did at uh, Real Monarchs when he was there. And now he's at Sacramento. I was really interested to see what he was going to do over there. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, as for teammates, man, I can I can run down the list, man. Right, like, right. He got he got everybody. So, right. um, but yeah. But all right, my G, I appreciate you. Just want to check up on you, see what y'all been up to during this hiatus. Yes, hey, man, appreciate much, you calling. Much G. love, my G. I'm gonna hit you love soon. Everything. Well, one love. You already know. Let's keep going up 95. Next stop, we're going up to Philly, my old club. Gonna stop at the MLS Club, Philadelphia Union. Check up one of my, uh, check up on one of my young bulls, Mark McKenzie. See what he's been up to. He's uh, the starting center back as a 20 year old. Been starting since last year as a 19 year old. He's also one of the starting center backs for the U.S. Me- U.S. Men's National Team, the full national team too. So here, this young boy living his dream, living, representing this country. One of the many up-and-coming faces of the next generation. I'm very excited to hear from him, and let's see what they've been up to in the, during this quarantine. I'm chilling, bro. Can't complain. What you been up to during this uh, quarantine? Man, just working out, homework, keeping the mind going, what, Netflix. What you in school right now? Yeah. Well, I've been taking online classes for like oh, two that. years now, so it's, uh, it's pretty much the same for me. Ain't much change. So with you. Chilling, bro. Grinding, trying to stay in shape, man. It's just tough. Yeah, it is. They got y'all any workout regimens or anything? Yeah, they they sent us some stuff. Uh, I'm sorry, just trying to change up everything. So yeah. Come like monotonous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all allowed to go to the practice fields or anything? Nah, I mean you can, but they don't really want you at the facility. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like everybody kind of doing their own thing, mm-hmm. finding their own space to do their work in. You been in contact with any of the guys like that? Uh, I mean, it's the young guys, yeah, we've yeah. been we've been chatting a little bit, but it's just like everybody kind of just Doing it's tough because you yeah. can't really get together. Really, yeah. you can't do much together. So yeah, we're talking on the phone and whatnot, but stuff's crazy. At, man. At the end of the day, it gets old sometimes. It gets old. You uh, besides school or anything, you found any new hobbies or anything? Uh, I'm trying to get into cooking now, um, <laughs> and then uh, I just been trying to get back my piano grind as well. Hey. I used to play. So, um, my sisters yeah. play too. I've been trying to pick that up, an instrument up myself. So, I respect that. Yeah, man. So, you know, same old, same old, just keeping the mind going. You got some fan questions too. Say less. Which part of game day you miss most? Just like the the initial walking into the, walking into the stadium during the national anthem and seeing all the fans. Mm-hmm. I think that's like the part that, mm-hmm. that really gets you butterflies when you're standing there yeah, yeah, bro. Uh, before you walk out. Um, it's like you hear everybody, you know, the game is about to come up. So oh. I think that's probably the part that I, that I miss the most. That, that build up. Too. What you think is the best MLS stadium in the league? You can be biased. Uh, too. I mean, I got to say Super Bowl Park, you know, Philly, because that's, <laughs> uh, that's just the way I, I, I got to do it, you hey, know. Hey. Um, but, you know, if I was to say outside of Philly, um I mean, Kansas City has a nice setup. Yeah, um, yeah, the yeah. LA teams also have nice setups as well. So, yeah. um, probably said uh, those two, uh, just because we haven't, haven't gotten out to a, yeah. a lot of teams' facilities yet this year. So, it's uh, I, I probably said those three. Mm-hmm. And which coach or teammate has had the most influence on you in your career and get you where you are? Uh, are you talking just in Philly, or are you talking just in general? In general. Uh I mean, Jim, he, he's one who pops to mind just because he's seen me grow through the, the whole system. Mm-hmm. You know, coming up from being in the, the Union Juniors, and he was my coach back when. Mm-hmm. 
um, to now being a head coach and providing me a, you know, a chance to, to be able to play, you know, get my first professional minutes and now to continue yeah. to grow yeah. as a professional. I think he's one, um, as well as Ty Ramos. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he's, uh, he was one who had a lot of faith in me mm-hmm. um, and really pushed me uh, to be the, the best I could be. So mm-hmm. I think those two are two that really popped in mind. I, I got a whole list of, of them. Course, you know, of Chris Moore was in the academy. You know, he, he he's one of the first, uh, like, really – made sure that I knew um, I couldn't be complacent in this industry. Um, and he made that clear to each and every one of us, so that's something that resonates with me to this day. Mm. Nah, hey, I respect that, bro. You've been balling ever since, though, my G. Yeah, man, you know, I'm trying my best every day. That's the process. Hey, I'm glad you've been killing it, though. I just wanted to check up on you, see what y'all been up to during this hiatus. Nah, man, I appreciate it, you know, and I hope all is well, being a fam doing well. Appreciate you, fam, you too. We'll definitely be keeping in touch, and I'll see you down the road. All right, say so let's go. All right, my G, one Peace. love. Keep doing your thing. Love, my guy. Peace. 95, going all the way up to Boston. Check on the New England Revolution. Starting goalkeeper, Matt Turner. Really good friend of mine as well. Played together out in Richmond. He was on loan at the time, so that's how we connected back in my early years. He's gone from then being loaned out to not even playing basketball. I mean, not even playing soccer like that. To then being caught up to the U.S. national team and starting for the MLS side, New England, New England Revolution. So, if you haven't heard his story, tune in to episode 14. You don't want to miss this incredible story. And let's see what they've been up to up in Boston. Yep. And uh, uh, just taking it day by day so we can do. How was that uh, Fortnite tournament that you just... yeah, bro, yeah, it was good. It was good. My team, I, I put together a very strong team. It was a team and... thing? Yeah, and we right. won, so that was important. Uh, we're going to get some money to donate to charity of our choice, right. probably a, right. a food bank here in Boston, which will be nice. Respect that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Hey. And a couple couple guys on the uh, – Brandon By and Justin Rennix from, from my team were on my, were on my squad and then a friend of mine from home that I went to high school with. So have you been in contact with your teammates like that? Yeah, bro. We, we, uh, we have like a little group chat. Um, with everybody in it, and then we can't really, we're not really supposed to see each other outside of, yeah, outside of everything, so yeah. that's tough, but uh, yeah, just just talking, keeping each other in the loop, seeing what everybody's been up to, mm-hmm. seeing how, like, we all have like workout plans, so seeing how everybody's workouts went every day, it's mm-hmm. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> they sent you guys some workout regimens or anything, yeah, yeah, that's what, yeah. that's what we have right now. Gotcha. Workout regimens. Gotcha. We're sending in our temperatures every day and make sure no one's you know, getting fevers or anything. And wow. Just getting creative. Yep. Just getting creative with uh, with how how I'm gonna get touches on the ball. Yeah. Working out in my little alleyway behind my uh, my apartment here. So I've always had to get kind of creative. So my whole life. So yeah. I'm good. Have you uh, found any new hobbies? I know you're playing Fortnite, right? You found anything else you've been up to? Yeah, um, I've been really trying to like eat a lot healthier. That's mm. been kind of my thing is cleaning up my diet now that I have time to focus on it. And hopefully, mm. some of these changes will will last uh, last into when when the season picks up again. But mm-hmm. I'm talking to my family a lot, which has been nice, mm-hmm. like via FaceTime and. And just, just little things. I do a puzzle here, read a book, and just <laughs> kill it, killing time. Yeah, that's dope, bro. Same thing I've been on. I've been reading more, trying to grow this brand some more. You know, yeah. It's been tough for me as well, but, you know, just trying to keep my brain sharp. If anything. That's what it is, man. So you have some fan questions, too. What, okay. What part of game day do you miss the most? Oh, boy. What part of game day do I miss the most? I miss, uh, I miss just... I miss getting the good vibes in warm up, like mm-hmm. when like the fans are coming into the stadium and you're mm-hmm. doing your thing and you're starting to get the feelings of the game. That that's probably what I miss the most. I that agree. and like and and like you know walking out of the tunnel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to agree with that too. Yeah. What uh in the MLS? What what do you think is the best stadium? Best stadium in MLS. Uh, uh, probably LAFC. Okay. Just like a really cool, obviously besides Gillette, um, just a cool atmosphere, soccer vibe. Uh, but I love playing at home. What uh, coach or teammate's been the most influential for you in your career? In my career, um, I've had a few along the way. Uh, I don't really want to go the coach route, but I guess my, my 
Yeah, my current my current goalkeeper coach has been really helpful to my game, Kevin Hitchcock. Um, but I'd say like just guys like Andrew Farrell and Scotty Caldwell, who have been consistent players in MLS over the years, and having lived lived with both of them for a period of time, and and getting to know them and what it takes to be a successful pro. Uh, more more specifically, off the field. Mm-hmm. Um, they they've had it they've had a huge impact on me. Off the field is key. People don't realize that sometimes. Absolutely, absolutely. They uh they just announced the first USL player that's been diagnosed with corona. Is uh, there is this are we playing a guessing game now? Out, out in uh, Sacramento. Uh, I was gonna I was gonna guess a California. Yeah. Team. So I mean I know it's growing though, bro. So stay clean and stay safe out yeah, there. Yeah, bro. It's 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 coming. It's scary, man. But yeah. Yeah, I will do for sure, man, and and all the best to you. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. Just want to check up on you, see what you've been up to. I appreciate the call. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. All bro. right, my guy. Talk to you soon. Have a good one. Yeah. Peace. Next, let's start making our way out west. We stop in one of my old clubs as well, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, to check out the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Or we'll stop and go see Mr. Versatile, Mr. Frenchman himself, Tomas Van Kaisel. One of the another really good friend of mine. We're trying out in Pittsburgh together. He was actually in the car thinking about not um, signing in Pittsburgh, and then here he is, signs a contract, and now he's re-signed again for X amount of years. And yeah, I'm very happy for my guy. So without further ado, let's see what they've been up to up in Pittsburgh. How's everything? How are you? Not too bad, bro. How you been? Good, chilling at home. Have to stay at home. Home where? In Pittsburgh or where? Uh, I'm, in, I'm in Pittsburgh. I'm yeah, in Pittsburgh bro. right now. Uh, I couldn't go to friends. I mean, I could go to friends, but... Nah, you don't want to do that. I don't want to travel <laughs> and get the virus nah. and stuff like that. Right. How? And also, I didn't know if I could come back in the States, right? Right. So, um, yeah, I'd rather stay here. How's uh, stay here. The, the quarantine been for you? What you been up to? So um, here we're still allowed to go out, but all the non-essential businesses are closed. Yeah. So basically, what I'm doing is uh, I'm going to Cool Springs, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we get the work out there for the players that stay here, but we like four. And that's all we do during the day. The rest of the day, I play PlayStation, <laughs> FIFA. I, I start to be good now. That's what I was going to yeah, ask you next. Good. Have you uh, found any new hobbies or anything now that you have all this free time? Uh, to be fair, I just bought the PlayStation and I'm playing a <laughs> lot. A lot. <laughs> that's all I do. Um, yeah, I'm spending my shit to be fair. Workout and PlayStation. What about you? What you been up to? Man, I've been reading some, working on this podcast. I've created some T-shirts and some apparel, some some things. Now, I was just trying to grow the brand, really. But yeah, bro, I've been doing some fitness a little bit. Been doing some touches with some guys. I really haven't been doing much myself, man, for real. Um, what do you think about the future? How is it gonna? When we gonna start practicing? Yeah. So. Do you, what I'm hearing is that we're probably going to start, like, end of April practice-wise. And then we'll probably start playing again, like, mid to end of May. And then they might extend the season all the way out to, like, November. So, I, all I know is that they're going to cancel Open Cup and then cram the rest of the season and play all the games throughout the whole short, compressed season. So, probably a game every Wednesday, Saturday for everybody. It's going to be crazy. Uh, it's going to be tough, huh? It's going to be tough, really man. Hard. Real tough. Yeah, well, like, I don't know. I'm scared, to be fair. I'm a bit worried about everything. Yeah. I don't know how it's going to go away, right. when it's going to go away. Right. And also about the USL, like, there's no revenue right now. Mm-mm. We still get paid, but, like, for how long? Right, right, right. So, right. I don't know. We'll I see, know, right? We'll see. But I'm a bit worried, to be fair. You said uh, you guys go to Cool Springs to train and stuff, but so they didn't train. They didn't the trainer didn't send you any workouts or anything to do. You just do stuff on your own. Yeah, was, yeah, they did. They did send a, oh, okay. a workout okay. for the players, but like everybody went away. Only foreign players. Are That's crazy. Here, That's crazy. It's just like five. Five of us. Our coach and, Mike was uh, like, "No, nobody can leave. He's making everybody stay here in the city." Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's right like for example Jordan Dover he went back to to Toronto but mm. now the border is closed so wow. if you start 
practice at any time. Like, wow. you cannot come back. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's crazy, That's right? That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. I didn't even think about that. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this, uh, we have a, a, a workout to do at home, and mm-hmm. I'm going to Cold Springs to get a, like a real workout, you know, nice. and I can lift weight and run and yeah, do everything, you know. Yes, sir. What uh, so you have some fan questions, real quick. Okay. What part of game day do you miss most? Uh, after the game, when you see the fans and everybody shaking your hand yeah. and talking about the game and especially after a win that's right. what I miss the most to be fair and yeah so before the game the stress that you have before a game that like yeah. means that now I'm so bored I don't feel anything <laughs> <laughs> nah I definitely agree with that how have you have you been connecting with any of the guys in the team you've been staying in touch with them yeah yeah like most of the guys we're talking we have a group uh, whatsapp group so we're talking nice um i'm talking about uh, austin uh, to austin part two yeah and uh yeah that's pretty much what usl stadium not mls teams do you think is the best stadium in the league uh, i like uh, tempo a lot mm. that's different the grass is nice they have a good crowd. Yeah, I like Tampa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tampa's up there for me, too. Them and NCFC are up there for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, true. The grass is really yeah, nice. Yeah, real there. nice. Which uh, coach or teammate has had the most influence on you in your career? Uh, here in America, my college coach, uh, Dan Stratford, is now at uh, WVU. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a part of my development. Yeah. And obviously Bob Lilly because he gave me my chance and he trusted me the last few years. So. Yeah. But yeah. all right, homie, we just want to check up what on you. What about you? What about you? For me, I would say, huh, let's see. I would probably say my coach out in Richmond, my first three years, Lee Callishaw, definitely taught me a lot about soccer. My rookie season, my first two years helped groom me. And then probably for me, off the field, Either between my dad or my basketball coach I used to have growing up, too. He just installed a mentality of just working hard and just never backing down from anybody. So, definitely got yeah. me to where I am right now. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But, all right, my guy. We want, just wanted to check up on you, see what you've been up to out in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Glad everything's been yeah. good. Yeah, a bit boring. All right. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Can't wait for hey. the season to start. I know, right? But stay healthy, stay clean. We'll definitely be seeing yeah, each other you soon. Yeah, you too, you too, you too. All right, We're my guy. see you around. Yes, sir. Good luck. One All right, love. I'll see safe. you soon. All right, bro. Tomas is on episode 21. Go back here. His journey coming from France to D3, being winning a D3 national championship. And then going on to sign his professional contract with uh, the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. So definitely tune in to hear his story. We're going to keep going a little bit west, go out to Louisville, Kentucky. Check out Louisville FC and see one of my boys, one of the leaders of the team, top five leading goal scorer in USL history, George Davis IV. Played together out in Richmond. Really one of the figures that helped groom me to where I am today. He took me under his wings, kind of. We were roommates together on away trips and... It's one of my big brothers I've been looking up to since I moved here. So definitely, definitely excited to, excited uh, to see what they've been up to up in Louisville. Like I said, he's also on episode 22 and 13. I've had him on two episodes as well. So tune in, go back, listen to his story, listen to his experience and inputs because he's one of the leaders of his whole league. You definitely don't want to miss it. So let's see what they've been up to out in Louisville. It's good, man. How are you? Not too bad, bro. How you been enjoying this quarantine? Man, I'm trying to stay as positive as possible. All right. It's my advantage. For real, for real. Yeah. What you uh what you been up to during it? <laughs> oh man. Uh a couple rounds of golf. <laughs> uh <laughs> staying fit, man. Been uh access to the field still, so yeah, same I go up there and get some touches. And yeah. Get some shots off and some runs and things like that. Um, other than that, man, you know, been in the house, read, reading. And, you know, I'm in the market, just yep. trying to learn and stay on top of things. So. That's what I was gonna ask you next. You been, uh, you found any new hobbies or anything during this free time? Uh, I wouldn't say new hobbies, man, but I, you know, I've been trying to 
yeah, I guess you could say trying to trade options for, for yeah. a couple of years now. So yeah. it's giving me uh, some time to dive into that a little more and yeah. spend a little more attention on it. So Especially with the market being down right now, you know, the time is to buy soon. So I feel you on that. Yeah, it's just like, uh, obviously, you know, with everything going on, it's a lot of changes. Yeah. And, you know, it's just a, a good time to learn. So mm -hmm. uh, that's what I'm doing. Have they been uh, sending you any workouts or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We um, we're getting workouts, you know, by the day. Um, so I try to stick to those and then throw my own, yeah, you know, a little twist on things. Um, but yeah, it's tough though, you know, because you can't really go into the gyms. You know? Right, right, right. So it's like at home workouts, and luckily I still have access to the gym in my apartment. But mm. even still, I'm not really using it to my full advantage. Uh, so. Have you uh, been staying connected with any teammates or anything? Yeah, yeah, you know, chatting with the guys here and there, you know, got the, the group chat and all yeah, that, so yeah, uh, staying connected, but, you know, also using the time for myself, too, you know? Yeah, so. definitely, bro. It's the time now to work on some things, too. Yeah. You have, yeah. Some, you have some fan questions, too. All right, what's up? They want to know, what part of game day have you missed most? Game day? Game day. Uh, I'd say the anticipation. It's weird to say that, but it's true, man. It's, <laughs> it's such a uh, good feeling, like, waking up in the morning and you have the whole day to look forward to, yeah. you know, going and, yeah. and what the, what you're going to be, what you, what's the product going to be, what's right. the game going to go like, right. how you're going to play, you know, what's the fans going to be like, all that. So right. definitely the anticipation. Definitely agree with that, too. That's what I said a little earlier. What do, you, what do you think is uh, the best stadium in the USL, no MLS teams included? Ours, man. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't had a chance to play in Bro, I know. Game. I know yeah. you guys saw the field and everything. How's it looking? Is it ready now? Is it ready? Yeah, it's unreal, man. It's, uh, it's really something special, man, uh, to see a team in this league, you know, put a product like yeah, that uh, together and see the city get behind it in the community. is pretty special, man. You set the bar high, too, bro. Like, that's yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, real excited to come out there to see y'all, man. Yeah, real. it's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be a nice place to play. Which uh, coach or teammates had the most influence on you in your career? Oh, my whole career. Mm -hmm. Honestly, uh, I'd have to go with. Um, it's kind of random, but uh, my first season with the Dayton Dutch Lions, the mm -hmm. coach was Sonny Saloy. Mm -hmm. Um, if you don't know me, he's a Dutch coach. He played for the national team, um, played for Ajax. And uh, I say that because he actually, like, gave me a chance, you know? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Coming out of college, I wasn't, like, drafted or anything like that. And when I joined his team, he uh, he, like, he really believed in me, you know? Mm -hmm. And he, he knew I could play, and he gave me that confidence and, and opportunity. And, you know, mm -hmm. the rest is kind of history, mm -hmm. so... But all right, Brody, I appreciate you again, man. We just want to check yeah. up on you, see what you've been up to out in Louisville, see what y'all went up yeah. to during this hiatus. Yeah, man. I hope things are well with you, man. I appreciate you, fam. Um, been doing the same thing out here, reading some, trying to grow this brand, created some apparel for this. Um, yeah. Definitely just trying to expand myself, too, reading up on more financial literacy books, trying to touch some different markets, too, and trying to grow myself. So I'm on that yeah, same man. wave, bro. Yeah, man, I've been in real estate, too, you know, so you want to yeah. chat, man. All right, when All we right. come down there, let's talk, too, because I'm thinking about getting property out here in Charlotte. It's perfect timing, so it's funny yeah. how things work. Yeah. But all right, That's what's up, man. Keep Good in touch, man. Yes, sir. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Peace, bro. One love. Yeah. Go up the road down to their old rivals to Cincinnati, Ohio, where we go check up on the newcomers of the MLS MC, FC Cincinnati. We're going to go check up with my boys, Andrew Groupman and Joe Jow. Andrew played with me out here in Charlotte last year. That's one of my main boys. Had him on episode 20, so go back and listen if you haven't. Great, incredible mindset. Someone who deserves, he was a college, 2019 college player of the year as well. Someone who deserves all the accolades that he's gotten because he's worked hard for himself and better on himself. So definitely go back and listen to his journey if you haven't. And Joe is one of my local boys from Maryland. Grew up together from high school, middle school, been playing against each other always. Um, been following each other. He went to the U.S. national team early. And, yeah, he's definitely one of the leaders of this whole area. You def definitely don't want to miss his experience. So without further ado, let's hear what they've been up to. Um, so everybody's just trying to 
keep everything straight on the home front. Mm -hmm. You so you got some fan questions too. Oh yeah. Yeah. What uh what part of game day have you missed the most? What part of game day do I miss the most, man? Just uh the pregame, man. The pregame, just getting in that zone, getting in yeah. that mode, man. Yeah. It's that feeling, yeah. you know. Like even though you play for a long time, you still get, you know, a little bit of butterflies in your right. stomach. Right. Game. For it's real. That. Nothing competes with that. Nothing, man. In the MLS so far, what's been the best stadium you've played in? Oh, man. Atlanta United, for sure. Hands down? Yeah, Atlanta United was dope. Just just because, like, how many fans were there. Yeah. It was like 70,000. It was their home opener. Yeah. Um, Montreal, Montreal Stadium was pretty dope, too, though. I'm not going to lie. Mm-hmm. But, but Atlanta United was the best one so far. Even better than y'all's? I know y'all, I mean, you get, like... 40 50 and you can still feel that yeah yeah um our stadium is dope but like theirs is new you know yeah 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 yeah, yeah. like ours is still like uh the college locker the football, rooms once right? we get to the new stadium though it'll it'll be lit when we're in the new stadium yeah but i mean the atmosphere still up here is unbelievable when's that new stadium the stadium is supposed to be done 2021 mm, or soon. maybe at the end of this season yeah real soon yeah, real soon. Who's been the, what coach or teammate's been the most influential for you in your career? Coach or teammates? Um, I would say, okay, so I got a couple. So uh, Ryan Babylon, Edson Brofi, those are my two guys right there. Mm -hmm. you know? They kind of took me under their wing when I was young. Mm -hmm. Coaches, I would say, um, uh, my pops, obviously. Uh, Jurgen. Jurgen Klinsmann, mm -hmm. you know, he helped me out tremendously. Dave Wagner at Dortmund, at my first, uh, second team stint at Dortmund, helped me out tremendously. Mm -hmm. And um, Klopp, man, bringing me up and giving me that. So those guys were definitely. Yeah, cool. bro. I know it's been helping you out right now in your career, too. For sure. But all right, homie, I just want to check up on you, see what you've been up to during this quarantine. Oh, good man! Thanks for checking in. Yo, I have I have a limit on my on my social media That's, stuff. <laughs> nah, I feel you on that. I heard about that. Out, I didn't get the message. Hey, and they just uh, diagnosed the first USL player with this coronavirus, bro. So stay healthy no and stay way. safe, yo. Out in uh, Sacramento, bro. So this stuff's growing, man. It's getting crazy out here, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, yo. So. That's what I'm saying, yo. It ain't no joke. No joke anymore. Keep you and wifey stay. Make sure the fam stay safe for me. Big them up for me. <clears throat> yeah. We'll definitely be in contact too, my G. Yeah, definitely, definitely, man. All hey, right. yo, tell, tell Dre to stop playing Fever, bro. <laughs> I got you. I got you with that, too. <laughs> tell him to hang up the stage, Hang up the stage, man. I got you. This man stays talking the most trash, but this man's some ass. I got you. Oh, All right, man. my G. One All love. Right, so why did you say hello too? Alright. Alright, bro. Peace. Peace. Next we keep going out west to the Midwest. We go out to St. Louis, Missouri, where we go check up on St. Louis FC. Starting center back Toby Adewale. Starting goalkeeper Kyle Morton. Toby was on the very first episode and episode 21. So if you haven't heard his story, make sure you go back and hear his incredible story. It's like my little brother. We grew up together in Maryland. Grew up playing against each other in the same club system to college, playing against him. He went to, I went to George Mason, he went to George Washington, to them playing against each other in the pros and playing against playing with each other in Pittsburgh. And that's how me and Kyle and Toby all bonded and had a connection. So let's head over to the Midwest and see what they've been up to. Uh, Martin, was that an interview? Got an interview, mate. No, no, I didn't say I need you. I said we have an interview. Put uh, your hands out your pants, dog. Oh, this guy, bro. Shoot up. Oh, I see you with a little twist out, too, cuz. Oh, man, it's just brain. Shoot up. What up, Shooter? What up, Shooter? How are you? Good, bro. You? What y'all been up to during this quarantine? Soccer, tennis, man. Two touch. <laughs> Smooth King. Smoothie King. We have this board game called Catan. We play that all the time. What, is just me and you two? <laughs> uh, nah, we have a good, good group of my, uh, good group of guys in the complex that uh -huh. they, um, 
they all come over and we just play the, the board game, and it kills a lot of time. Mm-hmm. They uh, send you guys any workouts or anything to do? Yeah, they send us workouts, but some of it's hard. You know, obviously not being able to be, or obviously not having access to a gym. Yeah, you feel me? So yeah. it's like, what can you really do besides run and do like body weight stuff? But besides uh, that board game, y'all found any new hobbies or anything to do? Hobbies? Uh, I do puzzles. Mm-hmm. Respect. You know, I have a new one that I'm probably gonna start soon. Mm. Um, or but we both read. I mean, I guess he can speak for himself, but I read. What you been reading? Uh, currently, the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just finished Gucci's. Yes, sir. I read that shit was tough. It was tough. Uh, I'm probably gonna read Henri's book. Mm. Um, I started doing crossword puzzles. Yeah. Yeah, you because know, I'm dressed as hell. Keep the mind sharp. Do you feel me? Yeah. Well, hiking the other day, too. Hiking. <laughs> what you we mean, Shooter? We, we have some good hiking spots nearby. Easy, to be fair. You know what I'm saying? That's a good good uh, way to practice social distance. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah for real. Nobody's in balance. You feel me? So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, video games as well, but it's just trying to pass time. Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> You guys got some fan questions too. What what part of game day you guys miss most? What part of game day? What? What part of game day do you miss most? Uh, I mean the feeling of winning. There's no better feeling than fighting for ninety minutes and you know coming out the victor. Mm-hmm. That shit is amazing and seeing the fans and stuff after. Mm-hmm. So man, okay. yeah. Man. I mean, it's probably missing, like, the the game day buzz, like, when you're walking in the stadium, you're just getting ready to go and, like, get those, uh, get a little bit of butterflies, you know what I mean, right before a game. It's yeah. no better yeah. than that. Also, the pre-game day drip. Don't forget about that. <laughs> Don't forget about hey, that. Hey, you got to come correct, because you know the photo shoot's <laughs> coming. Yeah, I swear, they could be waiting a week. What? For real. Dog. For Not real. even wearing shirts you got. Yeah. Game day drip is, <laughs> should not be underrated, bro. High key, though. <laughs> what, uh, what USL stadium do you guys think is the best in the league? Probably Louisville right now. Well, not. We don't need You know, even though we've never been there, it's yeah. the newest. Yeah. That shit's state of the art art. Yeah, it's state of the so art like art. Tampa's too. Who? Tampa? Tampa. I mean, yeah, Tampa's everything. The location. Yeah. <laughs> The location, the weather is nice. You know, it by the water. Um, excited to go back to Pittsburgh. You know, hey, for obvious reasons. Yeah. Indy as well. Indy <laughs> Cold Stadium is crazy. Cold Stadium is nice. Who else has a nice stadium? I mean, depends. If we play like the MLS teams, right, 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 like the right, two right. teams, right. and if we play in the the main stadium, then those are tough. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. But I'm going with Louisville just off the strength of. They're putting bread in it, mm-hmm. so it better be nice. But all right, my G, you just want to see what y'all been up to during this hiatus. I already know the vibes. All right, sure is. You're... All right, all right shoot up. All right, shoot up. Be easy. All right, bro. All right, yo, one love. Talk to y'all soon. All right, next we keep going out west to the Rocky Mountains, stop in Denver, Colorado, where we're going to go check up on Starting right back for Colorado Rapids, the MLS side, Keegan Rosenberry. Me and my boy Keegan played against each other in college. He went to Georgetown, and then we played together out in Philly, and that's how we connected, hanging out a bunch of times, training together and everything. He's a real down-to-earth guy, really cool guy. Excited to have him on the show. You definitely want to hear his input out here in the Rocky Mountains. So let's give him a call and see what he's been up to. Yep. What's up, bro? How are you? Chilling, bro. Trying to stay sharp during this uh, little hiatus in quarantine. What you been up to? Uh, not too much, man. It's tough. It's tough to uh, to stay sharp with the ball, obviously. But right. yeah, I'm doing my best. I've been uh, tinkering around with some golf shots. I don't know if you've been watching. <laughs> hey, I was stuff. about to ask you about that. How's that been going? <laughs> uh, it's fun, man. I mean, you could obviously tell I got way too much time on my hands. Right, 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 right. Uh, no, it's been good. Just trying to keep myself entertained. Uh, my wife's trying to work from home, uh, you know, during this whole time. So nice. hopefully, I'm not annoying her too much. Nice. Tell the wife I said hello too. Yes, sir. Have you, uh, besides golfing, doing all those trick shots? So you trending some too? Have you found any more new hobbies or anything? 
Uh, not too much. Um, I'm doing a couple things with Georgetown. Uh, mm-hmm. Tomorrow I have some, um, like, kind of kind of similar to this, just like a video interview. Nice. Um, just, uh, again, about what people are doing during this time. Right. You know, trying to stay safe, trying to stay inside, um, while still being productive. So I think uh, I'm looking forward to that, and it should be fun. But um, other than that, I mean, I'm going outside only when I need to, you know, going to the grocery yeah. store, trying to stay fit, running a couple times and stuff. But it's tough, man. It's difficult. Do they got you guys on any, like, workout regimens or anything? They send you a package? Yeah, so um, they actually delivered, like, all the gym equipment that we had at the facility oh, and nice. brought it to each player's, like, nice. apartment or house or whatever. Nice. Um, so that was, you know, kudos to them. That was, yeah. uh, you know, it was really helpful for us just because most of the apartment gym facilities and stuff like that have been shut down. But, right. um, yeah, so we're at least, you know, we don't have a ton of space, but we at least have equipment here that the team has given us. And mm-hmm. um, it's been good. They've definitely been a big help. Mm-hmm. Is it what's the weather like out there? It's not snow or anything, is it? Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had like six inches of snow, and then since then, it's been like 50, 60 degrees. Oh, so. All right, so you can still go outside some, yeah, yeah. So I've still been running outside, but every now and then we get a little snowfall, so we gotta handle it. But That's crazy, they keep you entertained, right? Did they give you guys access to the, fi- the field still or no? Um, I think more or less they probably don't want us like in and around the stadium, yeah. just you know, protocol, league protocol wise, but. Um, you know, there are some fields like here and there if you're kind of itching to, right. to get out there. But, right. um, again, more or less, I think, you know, they really just want people away from each other and kind of yeah. quarantine as much as possible. Have you been staying connected with other guys in the team? Yeah, so another thing that the team has tried to do is do, like, uh, like uh, Zoom meetings, oh, um, nice. just trying to get everybody at least together somehow, you know, like virtually that. seeing each other. And, yeah. Um, so we did a yoga session with the whole team. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this past week and then we've got a lift tomorrow so i mean it's not perfect there, nah, there's some work to be worked out yeah. still but yeah it's good uh you know again credit to them they're definitely trying you know obviously people haven't dealt people haven't dealt with this before so it's For tough real. you have a couple of fan questions so oh, beautiful what part of game day do you miss most uh i think it's got to be just, you know, the game itself, just competing in general, yeah. even, uh, you know, for me, just training every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, obviously you miss a lot of other aspects, mm-hmm. but uh, just that sense of competition, and that's what drives us every day, you know, yeah, trying to get better, trying to win games, whether it's in training or whether it's the game itself. So right. um, that would definitely be what I'm looking forward to most. What uh, MLS stadium do you think is the best in the league? You can be biased, too. Uh, are we talking, like, atmosphere, surface, or everything? Let's, let's do... Uh, like the atmosphere and the in locker room can be included too. Um, man, I gotta say, uh, LAFC's. Uh, I mean, it's their stadium and setup is brand new. So not only like their practice facility, uh, locker room, stadium, atmosphere, surface, like the grass is perfect there. Wow. Um, that's probably my favorite. I've only played out there twice, yeah. but I mean, it's been a packed house both times. It's yeah. been really, really cool. Wow. What uh, and which coach or teammate has been the most influ- influential on you as a pro? Um, that's tough, but I'd, I'd probably have to say our current coach right now. So we oh, went through wow. three coaches last year at, at in Colorado. We had a pretty tough year. Mm-hmm. Um, it was uh, it was difficult for all of us, but we settled on uh, Robin Frazier. Uh, mm-hmm. He was the assistant in Toronto. Mm-hmm. Came for the last uh, seven games last year and has been with us obviously now long term. So, mm-hmm. um, just uh. Yeah, I mean, just a super transparent guy, communicates his ideas really well, knows what he wants, Mm -hmm. um, knows how to get the most out of his players, I feel like. Um, You know, I've been fortunate. I've been, you know, on the good side of his, you know, roster selections and this and that. But um, I feel like, you know, even in the short time he's been here, I've gotten better because of him. Hey, I'd like to hear that, bro. But, yeah, man, I just wanted to check up on you, see what you guys have been up to during this quarantine. I appreciate you for answering the call and talking to us. Absolutely. My pleasure, bro. Anytime. All right, my guy. Keep in touch. I'll see you down the road. All right, bro. Have a great rest of your day. Yes, sir. We keep going west, head out to the Sin City, state of Nevada. Check up on my boys out in Fresno. Check up on my man Dabo, who I played, Muhammad Dabo, sorry, who I played with out in Pittsburgh. Another guy who came straight from Africa, came over to here in the USL, actually played with Inter Milan's academy growing up, so he has tremendous experience from the Europe and African and being here in the U.S. So so let's see what they've been up to out in the West. All right, so let's start from the top of the West Coast and work our way down. 
So now we shoot up to the top state, one of the top states out west, to Oregon. We go out to Portland, Oregon, see what they've been up to out the Portland Timbers. Check up on my boy Marcus Epps. Play with him out in Philly. He was also on episode 11, so tune in if you haven't heard him. But he has tremendous experience. He's been out with Memphis. He's been out with New York Rebels and the MLS, Philadelphia Union with the MLS. Tremendous experience. So let's see what they've been up to up in Portland. That's bro. Chilling, bro. How you been? Chilling, bro. Trying to stay sharp and in shape during this hiatus, man. It's been crazy. Bro, I feel you, bro. It's wild out here, too, dog. We got a <laughs> bike in the apartment now. Trying to oh, okay, okay. I was about to ask what y'all been up to. Yeah, nothing, bro. Same stuff. We were uh, training in the morning, you know, going to like, local parks and stuff, uh-huh. trying to get some touches, but they got out lockdown now so yeah that's that bro you gotta stay clean out here yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah y'all on top of each other out there Where you, you at home nah i'm out in charlotte our coach won't even let anybody leave the city bro <laughs> bro same, same here dog we've been on lockdown like i've been trying to dip for about two weeks <laughs> right now <laughs> yo for real bro everyone's going home and man's just chilling <laughs> Facts, bro. Facts. So bro. they it's gave straight, you, they gave you a little bike at the place. Yeah, they sent us like a like a bike, like uh, one two weights, a ball each, our cleats, and like a band and shit. You know, that's so, love, though. That's love. Yeah, it's not bad. I ain't gonna lie. I've been using the fuck out of them. Yeah, right. <laughs> Have you uh, found any new hobbies or anything during this hiatus? Man, I started looking at sign language and stuff, but <laughs> that's just hard. But yeah, I've been doing like sign language, reading more, cooking yep. and shit, yep. you know, saying my stuff. What you been reading? Uh, the Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Hey, it's a, it's, I heard that's a good you one. You seen that? Yeah, I seen it. I haven't read it myself, but I heard it's good. Yeah, bro, it's a good ass book. I just started like a week ago, but it's good, bro. Besides the, <laughs> the bike, did they send you guys any workouts or anything? Yeah, we got like a uh, we got like an app here called like the Bridge Athletic app, mm. and they put like a workout every day on it. So it's like some days it's like more lift heavy, some days more running, some yeah. days I like reach in. Yeah, that's love. it's been pretty straight. That's yeah. love. So you got some fan questions too. Okay, okay. What part of game day have you missed most? Oh, um, I say say warming up, you know, getting prepared for the for the game. Yeah, that's the best part, you know. Going out to the field, getting touches, getting shots, you know, trying to prepare yourself for the game. Yeah, I'll get you hyped. Man, what? <laughs> <laughs> Have you been connecting with any of the teammates out there? Uh, Yeah. Well, not since the, you know, the hiatus yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one roommate who, uh, like, he's, he's in my apartment. And then it's another apartment, like, across the street mm-hmm. where it's, like, two guys there. Mm-hmm. So, like, the only time I see anyone outside my roommate is if, like, we go running, mm-hmm. you know, on the trail or something or someone else is, like, at the fields or mm-hmm. something, you know. Damn, bro, it's been crazy. Yeah, bro, it's been tight nip. What do you think is the best USL stadium in the league? Best USL stadium. I'm not going to lie. I haven't seen everywhere, but after playing Phoenix, bro, that stadium is nice. Oh, it's like that? Better than anybody out east? Uh, sh- I don't know, bro. I'm trying to think. Who out east has a nice, nice setup? Like Tampa, NCFC. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Tampa got them beat, but it's like on the same level wow, as Tampa. You know? bro, wow. The field is sick. Goal is sick. Like Atmosphere, uh, all that. Atmosphere is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah so y'all, like, played this, I, y'all played that first game too, right? First game, <laughs> <I stopped. laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna I lie, bro. This team is balling until everyone's back. Like, yeah, the yeah. People they sign, yeah. they need like they need to put them on the team. Yeah, Other than that, yeah. bro, we're buzz. <laughs> we got smacked, yo. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Which uh, coach or teammate's been the most influential for you in your career? Uh, period. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Um, I would say my youth coach, uh, my academy coach, Mike Makovich. Mm-hmm. Like, cause um, uh, like, cause of him, I started like taking soccer more serious. You know, mm-hmm. like I knew that like 
this is what I wanted to like. I, I already knew that that's what I wanted to do, but he showed me what it took to be a pro, mm -hmm. and I started like learning, like getting better, like loving getting better, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. of him. Right, and got you here so far too, right? Yeah, for sure, bro. Uh, this man had me not want to lose a ball ever. That's in the game, crazy, bro. man. That's crazy. Yeah, you don't realize how influential these coaches are. Man, once, age. bro, when I, that was like I was fifteen, sixteen at the time. And I, I probably I wanted to fight this dude after every day because he was just talking shit, talking shit, talking shit. Yeah. Like he didn't care if you get like score two goals if you get a ball away. He like, what you think he gonna be a yeah. pro? Yeah, right. But afterwards, bro, yeah, that like that stuff carries you all the way through. Exactly. But all right, Brody, you just want to check up on you, see what you've been up to. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, fam. Keep in touch. You know we'll be linking down the, down the road. You're always, knows. bro. Always, Brody. Yeah, One exactly. love. All right, bro. Be up. Stay Talk to you soon. Yes, sir. Let's work our way a little bit south, head out to the beautiful state of Cali, where we stop in Sacramento to go to Sacramento FC's starting attacker, Carlton Belmar, the 2015 Rookie of the Year, someone I've, I've been playing against since my freshman year of college. He went to VCU, our rival at George Mason. Probably the most exciting college game I've ever had was against him my senior year in the A-10 tournament in the semifinals. We beat his team in double overtime. But yeah. You're going to hear from a great one of the great attacking pieces here in the USL. He's at Nashville last year. He's been all over the place, and he has a great career. So I'm really looking forward to hearing what he's been up to out in Cali. So let's go check him out. Chilling, I'm chilling. What you been up to during this little quarantine hiatus? Bro, I've been sitting here playing video games. <laughs> I've I played more video games in this quarantine than I have in my whole life. Life, so. right, bro? Man, it's been crazy. Yeah, bro. They uh, they got you on the workout regimens or anything? Yeah, bro. They uh, they got you on the workout regimens or anything? Yeah, yeah. They we've been doing like just they've been sending out like individual workouts and yeah. stuff like that, like, just some runs and like some body weight stuff yeah. and then, like. like they gave us all, like, soccer balls and stuff. So, oh, okay, okay. Like, that's about it. Yeah, man, but that's all. That's about it. What about y'all? Yeah, man, same here. They gave us a little homework else to do, but we've been trying to get together, like, three or, three or four of us, get a little touches in, bro. But other than that, man, I've had a hella free time trying to redo a little something, bro. Yeah, man. I, that's what I've been telling people. Like, yo, this is, like, a good time to do something. Right? Like, you know, Normal people always complain about not being able to do it because we usually have this time. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, How's uh shit trying to make some some sense of this? How's uh Cali been treating you though? I know the weather's been nice. Yeah, it's been nice right now. It's like seventy degrees outside, but you know, ain't nobody going outside. Yeah, nothing, yeah, bro, I feel that. Yeah, so besides Xbox and whatnot, you found any uh any more new hobbies or anything? Bro, honestly, like when you when you hit me up about it, I was like, man, I really haven't done any. Like I've been full blown, full blown vacation mode right, right now. Bro, like, okay. I mean, <laughs> exactly. I've done like I've done the couple workouts here and there, but mm -hmm. it's like we don't even know when we're gonna do this, man. You know what I mean? So it's like it's crazy because it's like at this age, man, we're about to lose a year. Bro, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's devastating because we needed these last yeah, couple. God, that's what I'm saying, yo. That's what I'm saying. This song we're never gonna forget. Exactly. I bro, that's what I, I and I was thinking to myself, I really wonder what life is gonna be like after this whole thing. It, it, I don't think it'll ever be the same. Nah, never ever. It'll ever be the same after this. So you got some fan questions too. What uh, what part of game day do you miss most? What part of game day do I miss most, man? I would say probably the walkout right now, and just kind of like that that first like two three minutes right before you start playing, where you yeah. just get to soak in the atmosphere and kind of look around, see the fans, right? The announcers of whatever the fireworks or whatever it is going on, man. Mm -hmm. That definitely miss that. You know, it was tough. I had to watch the first game from the sidelines as well, man. And just uh, what happened? You been injured? Cause I, yeah, no, I had broke my nose. Oh, but I didn't I, even I, know I, that. Yeah, no, I mean, it, you couldn't even tell. But yeah, like, it was like a double fracture in my nose, so they like they said I was gonna be out for six weeks. Damn. But then now I, I right, played, right. <laughs> yeah, I would have played this weekend. Is the thing I would have played this weekend with a mask or something? Yeah, with a mask on, but yeah. obviously, you know. Or done till at least April, which most likely longer than that as well. So gives you some more time though to get back to healthy. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be great if like gives me enough time to get back and we actually start playing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for real. This is like preseason all over again. For real. Everyone's going to lose fitness, bro. Yeah, I, I mean, it's literally starting from scratch. Like, you got to think about it. The next time we all step out onto a field again, like, that would be, like, our first practice. Some of, for us, some of us, our first games yeah, and everything. Yeah. I, haven't played, like, I haven't played a game since last October now. Damn, bro. I didn't even think about that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, it's been that long, bro. Like. And I'm just, I'm kind of going crazy a bit. This is the longest, <laughs> the longest I've ever gone. For real. Crazy, man. Like, What's, uh, what do you think some of the best stadiums in the USL? Um, Best stadiums. I'm going to say no bias, but Sacramento is my first. Oh, it's like that? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's 10, 15,000 a game, bro. Um, wow. And like the, the the it's a proper like like soccer stadium. Mm. You know what I mean, um, so it's like it, it's not the greatest of fields, but it's like it's it's a good yeah. atmosphere and yeah. everything like that. It was it's always been one of my favorite ones to play. In. Damn, even better than um, Phoenix. Ah, uh, Phoenix, actually, damn. No, I I still go I still go with Sac just because it's more people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Phoenix, yeah, Sac, Phoenix. Um. Who else was good? Tampa's was all right when we played them. I, I like that. Right. They're feeling good and everything like that. I'll, I'll put Tampa up there. And then um, St. Louis usually has a good atmosphere there as yeah, well. Yeah, they do. They do. I, I, I'll say, if anything, I'll pick those, those four. That's probably good. Which uh, coach or teammate has been the most influential for you in your career? My co- coach or teammate. Damn, put me on the spot with that one. Man, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Um, you mean like full, like college, collegiate and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get you where you are right now. I definitely send my college coach then. Mm. My college Dave Gifford. Yeah, I mean that that man has mentored me all the way through college yeah. up to the pros. Um, he's always looked out, man. He's always always been a shoulder to lean on, and then you know the, the words of wisdom when I needed advice. So yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, one of the most influential. I definitely would not be. here. I mean, I wanted to quit my senior year, and he was mm. like, yeah. He's like, you, you gotta, you gotta make something of yourself. That's crazy. After a junior year like that, when we played against y'all in the A10 and everything. Uh, no, it was after the next year, senior, my senior year. That's what it I'm was saying. After- you balled out junior year in your whole career. You're still thinking about quitting. Yeah, it was kind of like it was kind of it was a kind of crazy scenario. Like, like it was kind of like came off of a good summer with Portland. Um, you know, a good summer with Portland and everything, and then. Just had a, a, a slump my senior year, man, and I was yeah. like, damn, I'm not going to make it, you know what I yeah, mean? Like, yeah. you know, I kind of had all the pressure of, like, you know, hearing all the draft talks and that, this and that, and mm-hmm. then kind of just lost it, bro. Like, just couldn't do anything. And then by the end of the year, I was academically ineligible. Mm-hmm. On top of that, I couldn't even play on senior night on my last couple games as well. Bro. Wow. I was ready to quit, bro. I was ready to hang it up. And now we we went through it. We went through it those last couple of weeks before, before like the season finished and the draft. Man, like he was on me, like mm. trying to uh, trying to hit me up and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So that's love. No, he, 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 yeah, no, he really looked out. He really looked out. That's love. So. Yeah, still to this day for me, bro. That eight ten championship semifinal game, the greatest game I had in my collegiate career, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that shit was crazy. Still. <laughs> Fucking hell, bro. I still remember the stand here. <laughs> ran off. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> Yo. But all right, my G. We just want to check up on you, see what you've been up to during this quarantine. You know what, man? You been good, though? Yeah, I've been good, though, bro. I've just been grinding, trying to stay in shape, and trying to stay clean out here, yo. They got, yeah, like, man. close to 100 cases out here in Charlotte, bro, so I'm not even trying to step outside at all. You're talking about 100 cases out in charlotte bro we we like i think they just announced that we had one on team bro so yeah bro 
Bro, what? You know, that that yeah, might be the first check. USL dude I heard. That's crazy. You gotta, you gotta check the, you gotta check the Twitter, man. I'm about to pee. Yeah, yeah. If you, if anything, you didn't hear that from me. You yeah, saw yeah, it on yeah. Twitter. Facts, facts, facts. But hey, keep in touch, my G. You already know we're gonna link soon. For sure, fam. For All right, sure. Brody, one up. Yes, sir. Stay up. Right. Peace. Yes, Hold on, let me get this mic set up. But what's good, my G? How's everything? Chilling, chilling. What you been up Quarantine to during this? Night, bro. All right. <laughs> you know the grind. <laughs> what you been up to during this quarantine? Uh, working on myself as much as I can. I've been reading, reading more. Mm -hmm. Um, doing a lot of online research and stuff. Mm -hmm. Trying to, trying to keep my mind, my mind sharp as, as well. Yeah, as bro, just as important. Mm -hmm. What you been reading? Uh, I've been reading a few books. So I got Grit by Angela Duckworth. Yep, I heard that. I'm reading a, reading a book, uh, Never Eat Alone. Mm. Uh, I forget who it's by, but it's it's pretty dope. Mm. Um, yeah, those are the main two. I kind of been bouncing back back and forth between them, uh, but they're pretty similar in the way that they're they're set up. Just both kind of the motivational type, like yeah. self self-driven self-made type stuff uh so that's what i've been reading trying to catch up on same wave i'm on right now bro trying to read some more financial literacy books to upgrade myself and its mm -hmm. brand a little bit absolutely absolutely have how you, long have you been running this i've been doing this since i was in pittsburgh so it's going on two years next month bro not too long but it's been gaining a lot of traction so far that's what's up you uh that's found nice. any new hobbies or anything with all this time not right at the moment. Uh, last year, I, I started a photography business, and uh, I ran that for a while. Uh, I've kind of been holding off on that recently because I've been trying to navigate it towards uh, a clothing line, starting uh, my own clothing line. Uh. So I've been working on, on kind of like the build of that and, and kind of the, the schematics of that first. Yeah. And then I'm going I'm impl to implement like not only my, like – what I learned through photography, like my photography skills and, mm -hmm. and that mindset and like that social branding mm -hmm. type mindset. But I'm also going to use all the connections I made out here doing that last yeah. year. Yeah. So last year was good for me to like meet a lot of pretty like influential mm -hmm. type people in the area because mm -hmm. Phoenix is loaded. Phoenix is loaded with them out here, bro. Mm -hmm. so, bro, that's the same thing for, for me too, being out here in Charlotte for my second year. And now I'm with ESPN, the local, one of the local radio uh, stations out here. But being in my second year, built some contacts, and boom, met the right people. Got me in with ESPN now, and all my stuff's been growing, bro. So I definitely I'm understand that. That's awesome, bro. That's yeah. awesome. Did they uh, send you any workout regimens or anything? Yeah, so they've been uh, sending us some like uh, at home workouts and, and runs as well to be to to be staying up on. Mm -hmm. um, it's tough though. I mean. We just grinded through all that preseason, right? And right, then, bro. Back up. Season out of starts game. and like, boom, it's done. Or at least for a few months. And it's like, keep that whole grind mentality when you're just sitting at home. It's, it's different, bro. Bro, we and lost everything. We're going back from square one again. Exactly, exactly. We gotta start all over, which is crazy. You been in contact with any teammates? Yeah, yeah. So we all live in the same apartment complex. Mm. Uh, we've been like seeing each other here and there but trying to keep it like minimal as much yeah um but we'll hang out in groups of like four or five every now and then just because we're, we're all in the same complex same here and um corona hasn't hit up here as much as it has on both the coasts thus far like the west coast la and washington are going crazy I east heard. coast I know, new york's going crazy um my family's in philly and it's like same shit. It's 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 starting to get there now. Yeah. yeah. So you hear the first USL player just got diagnosed with it. I saw that. Yeah, in a uh, sack, right? Bro, crazy. That's gonna, that's gonna be crazy, bro. That's gonna change everything. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely gonna prolong the season. Our, like, I think. time, our timeline yep. and like scheme of things exactly. is gonna get pushed way back right now, bro. I agree. I agree with that. So you got some fan questions too. What, What's up? You got some fan questions. Oh, let's hear it. What part of game day have you missed the most? What part of game day have I missed the most? 
it's probably the, 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 ro- the little roar of the crowd, you know? Um, yeah. Getting out there, seeing the lights, and, and, and seeing out here in Phoenix, like uh, the Bandidos and uh, the Red Fury are our supporter groups. Mm-hmm. They do a great job. They, they, they're they on their feet cheer, cheering, yelling. They, they got smoke bombs. They, mm. they do the whole set. Mm. So I miss that. I miss, I miss being in that element where... I feel like I can attack, you know, because yeah. I got I got them people behind me. I got yeah. all my all our fans behind me. Yeah. So that's that's one thing I miss. I uh, 100% agree with that. And I heard you guys have one of the best stadiums out west. Yeah, bro, it's 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 legit. Um, so they actually built it when when the rising like rebrand took over. They built it in like I think they said like 60 days. Wow. So it's more it's more or less just like a pop up stadium. Like, yeah. Because they they really. Phoenix really thought they were getting that next MLS bid. Yeah. Um, and this was back in, like, 2018, 2019. Right. So they they built kind of just like a temporary stadium. But, it's bro, the grass is great. Like, it only holds, like, 6,500 to, like, 7,000. Mm-hmm. But they filled up standing room. And mm-hmm. it's cool because, like, it's pretty – It's it, it gets pretty packed. It gets pretty rowdy. Mm-hmm. So the stadium's, like, a great size for what we're building right now. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we want more. St- like as players, we want as many fans there as possible. So right, right, right. The bigger, the bigger the stadium, the better. But for a USL team playing, like for you guys, you guys play when you guys play um, Lucas Oil Stadium. Yeah. Do they still play there? Yeah. Uh, Indy. Yeah. Like that must be weird as hell, bro. I remember. Yeah. I remember it is. Back, back in the day, like we used to play at Red Bull Arena and stuff like that when I was on the East Coast, mm. and there there would be like. 50 people there like yeah i know right bro <laughs> you can hear yourself talk it's not all about the stadium sometimes nah. it's about i mean the, the grass is a huge part but it's about the the atmosphere the yeah most. yeah so so you've been on the east and west what do you think's the best usl stadium in the league you can be biased too well i love our setup so i'm putting our setup one um, I like I like Tampa's a lot. Tampa's mm. set up over the water, like all the boats yeah. driving by, driving yeah. past. I, I would put that number two probably. Yeah. Um, rounding out my top three, RGV Stadium is sick, but they have um, they have like like I was saying, there there are two sides, so they only get hundred of fans or so, mm. like a couple hundred fans. That's true too. Uh, but their stadium's legit, man, and they got like a nice like. Uh, gym in it as well like the locker rooms are sick like it's a it's a legit stadium and i know they played some like uh at least women's national team games there and like scrimmages there and stuff yeah but when we play there there's only a few hundred um but six stadium i uh, didn't know that that's crazy yeah uh san antonio is also a uh, second yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, that's one of the best setups in the league for I sure heard about so that. I, I would actually put that above rgb just because wow. that the atmosphere there is pretty yeah. dope as well which um, uh coach or teammate has been the most influential for you in your career hmm, which coach or teammate that's a good question um well it's cool um so i played college ball for my dad mm. uh at, at LaSalle, mm-hmm. so a ten life, bro. You know the grind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, um, sir. <laughs> so I, I started there. Um, he was super laid back, like he was like a player's coach. Um, embraced creativity and all that. And yeah. from there, I go um, to Bob Lilly in Rochester, which is <laughs> you you know that life. It's, <laughs> it's, it's strict to the T, to the law. Yeah. The Lilly way. Yeah. And, uh, the Lilly way or the highway. Right. Uh, but, hey, I had no, I had no problem with that. Yep. Man knows how to win. Made you and better. And I like to win. I'm, co- I'm competitive mm-hmm. as can be. So as long as we're winning, mm-hmm. it's fine by me. I'll play your way. I'll play anyone's way. Right. Um, and then coming out here, Chance. I, so I had um, a French coach, uh, uh, P- Patrice Carteron. Mm-hmm. He was out here uh, when I first came out. He was uh, one of Didier's like right hand men. Mm. Um, so he was our coach when we first came out here. And he was, he was awesome. Like he was, he was very motivational. Um, and, but he, he also had a little bit of that, uh, that, that, uh, Bob Lilly to him. Like, oh, okay. Okay. He, he was kind of like intimidating in a sense. Um, yeah. And, and not tough to talk to cause he was very personable, but like he, he, he was intense, man. When it yeah. came, when it came down to game time, we were like in the, in the locker room, like he would have us like 
doing like a plank and he'd be like smacking our sides like making sure like our bodies are ready to go and like our, we're fired up so wow. it was interesting wow. and then i moved on uh when he moved on he got a job and went over to play in africa and mm. took his team in africa to the africa like cup of nations final wow. yeah oh the champions league final yeah 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 i know what you mean um so he so he moved on and did well over there mm. uh but then when when that happened uh rick chance took over Mm-hmm. And he's been good as well. He's kind of, for me, he's in between kind of like where my dad was, which was like super chill, like laid back, uh, and in between where Lily and Carteron were, mm-hmm. which like the kind of like the high end, almost like the military mm-hmm. structure type, everything mm-hmm. structure. Uh, so Shantz is in the middle of that. Um, they all been influential. I mean, playing for coaches, you, you pick up little things, little things from right? every coach yeah. and you just keep it with you. Yeah. Uh, um, Playing wise, it's got to be Didier Drogba because I learned so much from that man. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Um, I believe training with him too must have been nice. Just going against a top quality guy like him definitely yeah, taught man. you a lot. Yeah, and he didn't take any days off either. He was four years old, but he, he was in there every day. Wow, what he experience you got? That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I learned a ton that year. Just more than anything, just the mindset that it requires and. The, it's it's not it's like talent gets you so far and, and Didier was incredibly talented but he said like he all he did was preach mindset mm, all it is right mindset. Here, right it, mm-hmm. it's right there so mm-hmm. if you want to be the best you got to think you're the best mm-hmm. you got to grind and you got to think that I'm gonna beat anyone no matter who it is I'm gonna beat it and I'm gonna put in the work to do it so it's about working wow. hard and, and keeping that mind right so wow I like I, that I, I learned I learned I learned tons of lessons from Didier that was that year wow. was monumental for me, honestly. Wow, thank um, you for not, sharing that, not, for real. Yeah, not, all, not only as, like, a, a player, but as a person as well. Yeah, nah, seriously, he, thank you for the, sharing that. One of the, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. He was one of the greatest greatest men I've ever meet, met mm. in person. Just the way he carried himself, the yeah. way he walked around the locker room. Yeah. And he was boys with everybody, too. He wasn't like... Oh, really? Like, yeah, so he, he, you think he's, like, he was at the top of his top of the world at one point right like, right right he's in the locker room getting calls from like ed and hazard in this chilling and then he's hang, hanging out laughing with us like seconds later like it's crazy <laughs> so that's he, crazy he's so humble humble and down to earth man it was man, it was an unbelievable love. experience to meet him still chat with him every now and then uh, which, is, which wow. is awesome so, wow. mm-hmm. but all right my guys want to check up on you see what you've been up to during quarantine i appreciate you calling Absolutely, brother. Anytime. Anytime you need. Ball out this year. Stay clean. Safe. You already know we're going to link up down the road soon. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, my G. One love. I'll see you soon. All right, brother.